the USSR would become a global leader in several fields thanks to these ambitious efforts. But something was never right. We should be extremely grateful for the majority of these failures because they may have destroyed many lives. Like and subscribe to the channel to receive new content every day. Soviet Internet The plan was for the Soviet Internet to be called General Automated Information Processing and Control System, or simply OGIS in Russian. But actually, the idea was very far from forums, chats, memes and free streams. The OGIS would be responsible for planning the entire Soviet economy, from the amount of goods on the shelves to the number of workers in the factory. It would work like this, a network of interconnected computer centers would collect and analyze data from across the country in real time, providing optimized strategies. All the Soviet people would be connected to this network. Furthermore, paper money would have disappeared with the network, replaced by an electronic payment system, simply visionary. In 1970, government computers could calculate 180 parameters, and in 1985, 30,000. But that progressive idea never materialized, not enough machines or funding. The military and space industries have always had priority. Flight to Mars The moon landing was never the Soviet priority, but only an intermediate step. The most important mission was the flight to the Red Planet which the head of Soviet space engineering Sergei Kurilov began to carry out as early as 1960. TASS They thought of everything, a super-heavy rocket to orbit Mars, an autonomous station with recyclable life-slash-production cycle, a space greenhouse etc. But the moon race put the project on hold, seeing that the Americans would get to the moon first, priorities were temporarily shifted. After they lost the race to the moon, they returned to the race to Mars, and a flight with five cosmonauts was scheduled for 1985. But with Kurilov's death in 1966, the Martian expedition too began to crumble and was eventually cancelled. The Giant Palace of the Soviets This huge administrative building was to become one of the largest in Soviet history. The palace, which would have a 100-meter high statue of Lenin on the roof would be the symbol of the country and the tallest building in the world, at 415 meters. If the project had gotten off the ground, it would look like this. The palace of the Soviets would take the place of the demolished Cathedral of Christ the Savior, its foundation even got off the ground. But World War II interrupted the plans and it was impossible to continue the project after the war. So, instead, the largest existing outdoor swimming pool, the Moskva, Moscow, was built there. In the year 1990, the swimming pool was demolished and an exact copy of the demolished cathedral was erected on the site. GR-1 Global Missile The concept of a global missile came from a U.S. project, which was quickly deemed unfeasible, but the Soviets did not give up on the idea. So the USSR planned the GR-1 as a rocket that, carrying a nuclear warhead, would be put into orbit and from there it could fire at any potential threat. There would be no distance limitations for him, any target on the planet would be within his reach. With this missile installed, any nuclear deterrent will become obsolete. Global missiles cannot be detected, making any preventive measures useless from the start, declared Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev. In 1956, the world exempt of this missile, actually, it was just a model, crossed Red Square during the victory parade on May 9, terrifying journalists and Western leaders. But the USSR did not go beyond the mock-up and the project was scrapped, with space weapons being banned by the UN General Assembly soon after. Well, these are big projects, right? But soon we'll be releasing the second part of this video, so stay tuned. Like and subscribe to the channel and check out the suggested video. I'm pretty sure you'll find something interesting and valuable.